hello guys thanks for joining us this is dance graphics and in this tutorial i'll be showing you how to edit and enhance images with uh, the lightroom application if you don't have lightroom application just download from play store when you download sign in with your google account and yeah that's it so once you are on lightroom and you open you sign in and you open lightroom you will see this displaying okay so um where you would love to if you cannot find the particular image you want to edit displaying around here just click on this arrow this drop down arrow or this drop down icon here then it will take you to the various folders in your phone so uh i want us to work with this image from pixel app so this is the image and one thing i must say here the fact that lightroom enhances the image quality does not mean that you should accept poor quality designs or poor quality images sorry from your customers or from your clients all right make your clients to get you at least hd images so that it will be easier for you to work in uh, to edit it out on lightroom like it's always said in design garbage in is garbage out so make sure you have at least a good quality image before you start working that said if you are joining us for the first time please kindly subscribe to the channel drop your comments tell us where you are watching from and like this video now let's begin the editing how do you edit an image on lightroom the first step you can do uh, is to i don't want us to work with presets okay these are presets i can show you some of the presets presets means already um uh, establish uh editing already they are already default settings but most of them are premium as you can see them here they are premium premium okay but i would not love us to work there so let's come back you have to click here on edit to start working with your image so we are going to click on edit and if you click on edit and you click auto it will add it will automatically edit the image for you uh, based on the image quality that is available so let's click on auto and see so you see it will give you that now um if you are not okay with this you, are, you can undo it so let's undo it and let's edit it manually so we begin with light the first thing is to click on light and let's touch down the exposure now this editing we're going to do here is not is not applicable to all images every image has its own editing that you will apply and you have to judge from what the outcome is it's not like this is the standard all right so it varies so let's start with exposure the image is very bright first of all so i want to reduce the lighting so you can touch on um, the exposure okay let's dim the lighting a bit i'm going to dim the lighting a bit okay then the contrast let's try to see when we increase the contrast what will happen okay you can see that so when we reduce the contrast also what happens so these are the two things that you have to always check when you increase a particular editing option how does it look you have to be checking so i think this one is better if we increase the contrast the highlights okay the highlight here refers to all the bright areas in the design I want to make it more brighter and see so you see then let's reduce it also and see all right so i think we can increase the highlight of the image then the shadows let's try to reduce the shadow and see okay then let's increase the shadow also and check it out so which one works here uh, i think we can reduce the shadow okay then um, the white we can make areas that are white less white or whiter by reducing the whiteness and we can as well make it more you see that so you you have to be checking it out so let's reduce the whites and the blacks let's increase the blacks let's reduce it also and see so you just have to be playing with it and be seeing the outcomes okay see this um so let's step this up okay good so we are done with this option with the light take note we are on the light the next thing you can do again is to go to effects 
so i want to just show you and uh, these are the most common editing on lightroom go to effects now on effect we have texture the first thing we have texture so let's increase the texture a bit and see okay then um, let's reduce so basically we are increasing and reducing to see which one will apply for this image that's what we're doing and if you are not satisfied with anything for example this one now the texture is on plus 18 if you want to undo it you just double tap here on this small circle it will come back to zero so double tap it comes back to zero can you see that so this is what you do when you want to undo any action that you have initiated so let's increase the texture what about the clarity let's make the image a little bit clearer yeah then the dehaze the haze here is um it will give the image this kind of look the warmness okay so you see this so depending on the image this editing will vary so you have to be checking okay so i think the dehaze is is okay by 10 and uh, if you want you can give it a vignette and a green or uh, a grainy feel so let's check the vignette let's increase the vignette amount so the vignette amount we can increase it you see that we can also reduce it so this is now if you want to create like maybe a kind of a studio background you see this kind of editing applying please subscribe to the channel and like the video and drop your comments where you're watching from okay so these are still further details to the vignette okay but uh, usually uh, since this kind you if you are editing your image for designing you will not be necessary applying the vignette because the vignette applies with the background as you can see mostly with the background so let's just undo it okay let's undo everything then the grain you see it makes your image to be grainy sometimes you see designs coming like this this is how it is done but i don't think we will need it here so we can uh, undo the the grain to zero then we push further to details to details so go to details and the sharpening let's try to sharpen the image to make it sharper but as you sharpen it be very careful because you make the image if you over sharpen your image it will become like that grainy field for example let me just show you you see that it becomes blurred and not really good so you can reduce the sharpening a bit just apply a little bit of sharpening now for editing a little bit is just enough so you don't need to over apply a particular function uh, let's increase the radius of the sharpness okay and see yeah then the details let's make it much more detailed then the masking we can as well increase it a bit to see how it works so you can see all of that okay applying on the image I click back on details now you can come to noise if you notice that your image is noisy like it's blurry you can increase the noise reduction to make it smoother can you see that so let me undo this and you will see it's not really smooth so you can increase your noise reduction it makes it look a little bit smoother like this you see this so these are the differences you can increase and you see okay good now um we can increase the detailed the detailness of the noise reduction let's make it more detailed and we can increase the contrast as well okay then okay guys now if you click on color noise you you also try to increase it a bit all right then you increase the detail and uh, the smoothness also let's make the image very much smoother all right and yeah that's it so the last option i would love to show you i skip it is color and come back to color 
and you know this is uh, the color bar here will have uh, saturation vibrance let me start from below from saturation so saturation uh, make your image black and white see this you reduce the saturation it becomes black and white image let's undo it then the vibrance we can make the image to be more vibrant like this of course or we just leave it like that or we can reduce the vibrance a bit okay it depends on you so um let's increase the vibrance of this image a bit then uh, the thin is the, uh, the changes in the color you see which i will not really advise you guys to work with because uh, it's not a good one so we undo it make it zero and the temperature how warm or cold your image will look like so you see all right but i will not still encourage you to work with this all right good so these are some basic uh, editing on the, the lightroom application that i believe can help you to you know step up your image game for your designs you can see i can show you the previous image and the edited image so we can check this is the the previous one and this is the edited one so previous and edited i believe you can now see the differences okay so this is for previous this is now edited so um this is how lightroom works and i hope this video will help you to you know uh, gain knowledge on how you can enhance your image on the, the lightroom application once you are done with all of this you can just click back here you can just click back here all right then you click here on this and uh, you will be asked to save a copy to your device so we can save you click on save and it's exporting we can view it now in gallery you see that previous and current so this is all about uh, some key editing tips on the lightroom application that can help you improve your image editing game with uh, your designs thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed this video up to this length please uh, like the video drop your country flag tell me where you're watching from and uh, if you're one of those people in the whatsapp group who requested for this video please uh, mention it in the comment section so i know that the people who requested the video have gotten what they requested what they requested for so i will actually be seeing you in the next video which is of course just next door until then it's done graphics stay blessed we love you